Hey, I'm John, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to change the nozzle on your longer LK5 Pro. This should work for most FDM 3D printers, but your mileage may vary depending on what type of machine you have, so just kind of take a look at everything before you start this exact method for your printer if it's not a longer machine. It's a simple process. It shouldn't take you longer than 5 or 10 minutes total, and so let's get started. Before you get started, you want to remove the filament from the printer. Once you've got the filament removed, the next thing that you want to do is you want to turn the nozzle temperature up as high as it will go, which in this case is 250 degrees Celsius. Once your nozzle's nice and hot, the next step is to remove the cover that's over the fans and the nozzle. Now you want to be careful because your nozzle is 250 degrees Celsius. Right above the cover, there are two screws that have an Allen wrench that came with the printer. You can use that to remove the cover. On each side next to your secondary fans, you have blower extenders that are screwed in. You don't technically have to remove those to swap out the nozzle, but I found that it was easier to do it. There's two screws on each side, again, that one of the Allen wrenches that comes with the printer, you can use that to remove those screws. One day I'll get better at filming and I won't have the camera right where my hand's going to be so you can actually see what I'm doing but I'm unscrewing those screws. While you're watching my official application for hand modeling, now's a great time if you're enjoying my videos to hit that subscribe button, throw me a like, and drop a comment below about what type of content you'd like to see next. Once you've got everything removed, go ahead and move that nozzle up quite a bit. You want to be able to have enough room to get under there with your tools and kind of get everything removed without having to worry about the print bed getting in your way. As you can see, I've got a little ooze coming out of my nozzle. That's a result of having the temperature up so high, it's starting to leak that little bit of filament that stays in the nozzle out. That's a good thing. Next, you want to remove the sock that's covering the nozzle. My sock got ripped. I think I ripped it when I first got the printer, and so since I was going to have everything taken apart, I took this up as an opportunity to order some new socks so I can replace that with a better one. A link to everything I'm using in this video can be found in the description. Now if only I could get my camera to focus. Now it's time to remove the nozzle. Most nozzle kits that you order online will come with a wrench that will help you to remove the nozzle, but Longer also provided a wrench with your printer. To remove the nozzle, get yourself an adjustable wrench and hold that heat block with that just to prevent it from moving around. Then take your nozzle wrench, put it all the way on the nozzle, and turn it counterclockwise to remove the old nozzle. Now it's time to install the new nozzle. Now remember that heat block is still really hot because your nozzle temperature is set all the way to max. So when you put the nozzle in, just try to get it started by hand and then switch to the wrench. Having the temperature all the way up is really important for this step, so don't turn it off. It's important not to over tighten the nozzle, but you still want to get it tight enough that it creates a good seal. Next, reapply the sock. Make sure that the open end of the sock is on the right side of the heat block. Before you reassemble everything, I would recommend lowering it down to print temperature loading some filament, and just running a little filament through the new nozzle just to make sure that everything looks the way you would expect it to. 
now you're going to reassemble everything. I spent less than $20 on everything that I bought. I bought a 25 piece nozzle kit. It came with a storage case with a bunch of different size nozzles. It came with nozzle cleaners, a nozzle wrench, and it came with some tweezers. I got a six pack of socks because I figured it doesn't hurt to have a few extra socks laying around as well. I'll have links in the description to everything that I use. That's all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful and until next time.